Hi, it's Kathleen, and today we're going to the thrift store because today it's my birthday. I love birthday. Like we need a reason to go to the thrift store. And yes, today is literally my birthday. Well, today when I'm filming it, you're watching it in the future. How are things in the future? What's new? I guess technically everything's new. <coughs> That was my car. Look at me waxing philosophical in my old age. Let's go thrifting. Oh, I forgot to ask. I got some birthday mints. Do you want one? No? Sauce. I'll bring one for you just in case. All right, since it is my birthday, we're gonna go for a little bit of a treat yourself moment. I'm only looking for cool, one-of-a-kind items. I'm in the men's section. I don't know why. Let's go. I'm so into leather jackets, but I already have one. I don't need another one. It's cool though. This is crazy. 100% New Zealand possum. This is cool. This is one of a kind. And it's handmade. This feels like a good treat yourself moment for sure. And it's half off. $4. Ooh. I also found this very cool vintage t-shirt dress. Bold spirit. And I just wanted to show you this. What do we think? Yeah, I know it's ugly, but like in an endearing way, you know? <coughs> Okay, your girl has quite the cart, so let's just start looking through it. And we'll start with this. Very toot vintage charter club, but also extremely itchy, so that's gonna be a no. And then, I found this very cool little sweater tank from Kinzo. Very nice, but $40. I'm not so sure about that. One thing I am sure about is this cute little lounge set from Free People, little t-shirt. Comfy pants. That's a definite yes for me, dog. No. Now this feels like a collector's item. Feels kind of kitschy, feels kind of clowny. It's not the most interesting silhouette, but I do like it. Okay, two more vintage sweaters. One from Ireland, one from Swedesbury. I think it's vintage. I like this, it has a very light academia vibe, but isn't it kind of similar to the one that I'm wearing right now? I more just wanted to show you this one. Fun little patchwork jean jacket with stars all over it. Feels a little too bohemian for me though. This purse though, I think I really like it shortened a bit like this. And then I would just knot this. That's pretty cool. Also, here's a little behind the scenes peek. I actually came here yesterday, but I wasn't able to stay that long. So I came back today, but I also got some footage yesterday. Here's that footage. Oh my gosh. Starting off on the wrong foot, y'all. Yes, this t-shirt is tight and amazing. But is it $80? Huh? Oh, I am 
am also looking for some wide-legged, brightly colored trousers. So specific, I know. I found these beautiful like wool vintage trousers with really wide bottoms, super cool. They're just a bit too small, unfortunately. Okay, let's see what else we can find. I'm just looking for basic long sleeve shirts because it's getting cold and I hate being cold. So let's layer up, baby. I was planning on doing one of those I don't check the prices on the clothing and get whatever I want videos but then I saw that that t-shirt was $80 and I thought that was an unwise decision for a 30 year old person to do. Maybe we can do it at a thrift store that has reasonable prices. I already found one jacket that is amazing. I have not tried it on yet but I'll give you a little sneak peek now. Dur -dur -dur. Okay, contrast stitching leather jacket moment from Italy. Oh, I also found some shoes. I'm not really in the market for little kind of ankle booties, but I just thought these were cool. They have this nice little toe cap here and they're Stuart Weitzman. Probably won't get them though. Ooh, fancy. <laughs> YouTube update, Gus just texted me and told me that I hit 2,000 subscribers. Woo! Happy birthday to me. Thanks, everybody. Wow. That's cool. Just found this in the sweatshirt and dress aisle, and I'm gonna do what any responsible 30-year-old person would do and put it with the rest of the Halloween stuff. You're welcome, world. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I haven't found as much as I maybe would have liked, but let's try on what I have and I'll show you what I got when I get home. other black leather jacket, so I'm like, do I need two? I don't know. Well, well, well. Look who we have here. Me. And last time we talked, we were at the thrift store, and it was my birthday, and now, it is not my birthday any longer. So let's debrief. In the interim, I ate oysters. I went to a jazz bar. I made a bat costume. We hosted a Halloween party. The main event was watching Scary Movie 2 on the projector outside and um, that movie has aged like milk. Would not recommend, but the party was fun. And if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I am entering my wind chime era and I got a pretty sick wind chime for my birthday. Yeah. Oh, I also got a new camera. Could you tell? That was my gift from me to me and to you. I told myself when I first started making YouTube videos that if I was still making them after a year, I would upgrade my setup. So if anything is weird and anything is wonky with the audio or the quality, I'll get it figured out. It's not you, it's me, but I'm very excited about it. I got this one. Used, of course. Okay. Why'd I do that? Let's talk about what I found at the thrift store. I was talking a big game when I was at the thrift store, how I wanted to find collector's items, one of a kind pieces. Did I find any collector's items? I don't know. I mean, this sweater is vintage and very cool. Spoiler alert, I bought this sweater, but it wasn't quite the birthday thrifting extravaganza that I was hoping it would be, but isn't that kind of the name of the game when it comes to thrifting? You never know what's gonna be there. We're constantly chasing that high. So here's what I found, starting with this sweater. When I first picked this up, I was like, oh, is this gonna be too small? But it's perfect. I love the length fits me super well. Now this sweater was $20. For a vintage piece, that's, I mean, that's good. Like you can't get a sweater new for $20. Well, you can, but not a good quality one. Not one that's not full of lead. But this was a treat yourself thrift trip for my birthday, so I splurged. I also got this little turtleneck. Couple things I love about it, brown and black. You can pair that with anything. I mean, you can pair anything with anything, but we're like automatically breaking a fashion rule here, so everything else is out the window. Do you. I'm looking at the pile of things I got and it's all so soft. Next soft item, 
bam, this blinged out vintage sweater. Now when I first saw this, it's just your classic crew neck. It was $8, although I think it was half off. When I first saw this, I was like, this looks like something I could make. And I was kind of like turned off by it, but then I was like, wait, doesn't that mean it's perfect for me then? Since it's something that I would want to make for myself? Make it make sense, brain. So I got it. I love that it's very classic, but it has that kind of maximalist over the top hit with these Jimmy Jim Jims. Let's talk about loungewear. I think I mentioned in the clips that I was looking for wide-legged colorful pants and I found these and I'm like, colorful? Kind of. Wide-legged, definitely. Pants, yes. They're free people cargo lounge pants. They were $18, which is annoying but they're so cute. I love the thick waistband and I'm gonna wear them probably every day. This is coming from someone who literally wears the same t-shirt and black pants to sleep every day and has for the last like five years. <laughs> for all the fun styling I do, I'm also extremely persistent with my comfy clothing choices. So I'm excited to have something that's a little more up-leveled, a little more upscale. And speaking of, I found this really cute top too. It's also Free People. It was in a totally different section and I just picked it up randomly because I thought it would go with this. My Free People senses were tingling. My Freeple senses. This is just a little stretchy ribbed lounge shirt. It kind of reminds me of vintage like long johns or military undergarments and I will wear them always. Finally, last item. I think this was the most special item I picked up. So when I saw this on the rack, this purple purse, I was like, wow, that silhouette is choice. It has a cool triangular shape, almost like a harnessy vibe down here. But my first thought was, but does it have to be purple? Why isn't it black? But then I was like, Kathleen, how many black purses do you already have? It's a plus that it's purple, this is great. Sometimes I just have to outsmart my own stupid, you know? And it's a really cool way to add some shape if I'm wearing a dress that's like really big and poofy. I can throw this on on top, kind of cinch it in a little bit. Very sweet, it's also handmade by Karen and Jess. Thank you, Karen and Jess. Okay, I think that's it. So if you enjoyed coming thrifting with me today, first of all, thank you. What a fun birthday. Second of all, you can subscribe and get more thrifting videos. I post most weeks. My videos are thrifty and artsy and a little bit chaotic, but in a good way. And with that, spooky month is over. We've had so many fun spooky videos this month. Lots of giveaways. Thank you to everyone who has entered them. I hope you enjoyed and I'll be back next week with another video. So if you'd like to watch some more of my videos until then you can check out my thrifty finds playlist or last week's video if you haven't watched it yet. And with that I'll get out of here. So I love you. Hope you have a great week and goodbye. <laughs>